So in this video, I am going to be painting this piece here. And I'm just going to start by figuring out some swatches that I want to use of colors, um, just some colors that will work for the look I'm going for. And uh, I'm looking for warm, muted colors, kind of a vintagey feel, which to me is like a warm, like a vintage rose kind of makes me think of like warm pinks, warm browns, warm greens. And um, I don't know if that's how you think of them, but that's how I think of them. So not opera pink type color, but uh, what I found was really good was Potter's Pink by Daniel Smith and Minnesota Pipestone Genuine is a good vintagey brown to use. So I'm kind of basing it off of Potter's Pink and then looking for shades that are complementary to that, a little bit lighter, a little bit darker. And so I'm mixing, I'm, I'm kind of using varying degrees of water to lighten that and, and then maybe go in with some more pigmented uh, brush strokes. And then as always, I'm using uh, Serpentine Genuine, or no, not Serpentine Genuine, uh, Green Appetite Genuine by Daniel Smith. And here I am putting Saran Wrap on there just to get some leaf shapes and maybe some flower shapes. And uh, I'm just letting that sit. And I usually let it sit overnight and work on a bunch of these kind of washes at once. And so now the wash is completely dry. It's probably the next day. I painted this a little while ago and I'm just editing the video now. And I'm just looking for flower shapes. And lots of times, when you first start doing this, you, you'll you'll see lots of interesting shapes and you'll think, oh, this is really cool with the saran wrap effect. But it might be a little bit difficult to see flowers. And the more you paint flowers, the more your brain will start just seeing flower shapes, whether they're actually there or not. So it does take some time and it's really just training your brain. So I'm kind of just looking for some shapes that I can either already see flowers in or that I could look at and and say you know what this is a good shape right here a little a little space right here could develop is a good spot to develop a flower in so that's all that I'm doing when I'm after the saran wrap stage and just kind of picking out some of the details and right there I probably didn't see anything I'm just kind of um, I might have seen some leaf shapes or a petal shape just to start with, just a cool, anything that's just kind of like a cool little shape, and then I go from there. I might not see a whole flower. I might see just like a little part of a flower, a center of a flower that I could turn into a, a whole flower or a petal that could work. And I do the same thing with leaves. And I don't want to develop the whole, everything on that paper. I just want to pick out some parts so during all of this you always want to be thinking about the composition and that's how I started as well just where do I want the pinks and where do I want the greens and so when I did that first wash before I put the saran wrap on I kind of think about the composition and I want I want like just a like like bunches of flowers and so you just kind of think of that and and the more you do this again the better you'll get at it and now I'm detailing even more by adding some darker so go slowly add the darks slowly um, start really and remember you're just picking out pieces here and there and you want to be thinking about the composition and you want to you definitely want to have some quiet spaces where it's really subtle and it's just kind of that dripping effect that I like on flowers and just really loose and it doesn't even have to be developed as a flower at all. Our brain will see it if we paint a few details that are flowers and a few details that are leaves. And uh, as when I edit my videos, I try to make, because the coloring that I have for lighting. The lighting I use in my studio is very good for painting, not so good to show the original or the finished effect of the painting, the finished colors. And um, 
like on a video camera and when I edit these videos. So when I edit them, I try to make the coloring uh, as much as possible, like close to the original or yeah, the finished painting. So my, it might seem a little bit pinkish hued, but that's because I had to edit some things just to get the accurate color in there. Uh, the video camera does weird things depending on how much daylight is coming into my studio or not daylight and whatever. I have really good lights for painting accurately, but on video camera they kind of eh. And uh, moving on, so I'm just painting some rosebuds in there and just kind of developing them just to um, put in some more actual petal shapes in that one rose you saw. And just adding a few details here and there and you really do want to take some time to just step back and take a look what am I seeing um, don't just get so caught up in the painting for like an hour at a time and you forget to actually look at the painting that happens so much so consciously take a break and go warm up your coffee and come out come and look at it again and there is the finished painting if you enjoyed this video please comment like and subscribe see you on the next video